Hey folks, Dave with DBS Tech Talk. Sometimes hype can get the best of us. And sometimes we jump on that bandwagon just because either somebody said, hey, this is a really good product, or somebody said, you need to check this out. It's awesome. And then when we try it out, it, you don't use your own thinking in your own ears to hear it. You just go based off of what everybody else is saying. Then other times there's absolutely nothing out on a product and you have to make a decision based on your own ears. Well, for about the past week or so, I've had two headphones in house in which one was really hyped up and one, there's absolutely nothing out there in regards to it. It's pretty much silence. And so I'm on a little bit of a journey. Now I'll do full reviews uh, coming up in a couple weeks on both of these headphones. But right now I'm just kind of in the testing phase and listening to them and deciding the pros and the cons. And neither one of these are going to be compared against each other because they're in completely different um, areas of, of uh, listenability, uh, different areas of style and purpose, I guess. So, and price point. I mean, there, the one is 25 to $30 and the other one's 125 to $150. So you really shouldn't compare them in price point wise. But anyways, the two headphones I'm talking about are the Monoprice Retros and the AKG K275s. The AKG K275 comes in around $125 to $150, depending on where you get it from. And it has a very nice build, kind of a retro style look to it. Metal, leather, kind of stiff, but it has a little bit of padding on it. All metal. This is plastic, but in very nice hard plastic. Minimalistic styling on them and has a detachable cable. The pads that came stock were a little lacking. They weren't terrible, but they were not the best. Um, I did replace the pads on this one um, with the Coney's. And then I also replaced the cable because the cable just was not my preference. It's a coiled cable. I do not care for coiled cables, so I did purchase up a third-party cable for it. And uh, I think the cable, just kind of adds to the color scheme with it being white and having white listing on here. I think it does a nice job. But overall, these are really comfy. They're very um, smooth in the sound, very linear, very neutral sounding. And I, I really greatly appreciate them. As far as what I have limited information I have found online, sounds like my what I'm hearing matches up with what peop other people are hearing with them. The model prices, on the other hand, now, minus the build quality that is just um, awful, and the chintzy quality of, of material, which is awful, um, I already knew that going in. The... Stock pads aren't bad. I mean, they're not terrible. They're not great, but I wouldn't say that they need to be replaced. I actually am um, okay with the pads. They do make my ears sweat a little bit, but overall, I mean, the pads, you could probably put some better on, but why? These are $25. Most replacement pads are more than that. If you're going to spend 25 on the headphones and let's say 25 on pads. Why not just buy a $50 pair of headphones? That's better than these instead of buying the two things separate. Just makes no sense. Anyways, um, the hype says big bass, um, V shaped, you know, extended treble and, um, good details and decent mids. The mids are recessed. These things sound like you're in a cave. 
and the base is not really that clean and clear. It's, it's mostly quantity only, and the treble is harsh. Um, not sibilant, not sharp, harsh. It's just it's not clean. It's not clear, and granted, I you know got to put some more time in with them and um, all that, but. These sound like a cheap $25 pair of headphones. I don't get the hype on them. They... You want something to beat around in uh, with the office and not worry about it if they break, not worry about if somebody walks off with them. Here you go, 25 bucks. But don't think you're going to get good quality sound out of them at least to my ears they, these don't not yet maybe i just haven't found the uh the synergy with what i have but i yeah so hype isn't always what you would come to expect when I put these in my cart, I was thinking, hey, I'm going to get something that's cheap. I'll be able to review it and have a decent uh, quality of beater headphones. But you know what? All I have is a $25 piece of junk so far. And then with the AKGs, I didn't really know what to expect on them because I didn't see anything online on them. And I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm not going to try to hype them up. I'm not going to try to to go all gung ho on them and and uh, make everybody purchase them. But if you feel inclined to, after my review comes out, you know, hey, go ahead. But for these, there's so many positive reviews out there, and I just I I, I don't get it. Full reviews coming probably in the next week or so. This has been Dave with DBS Tech Talk. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Oh, yeah. If you like the content of this channel, please hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so that you will know next time another video posts. If you feel like you would like to uh, donate to this channel, whether it be loaning equipment or gifting equipment for me to review, there's an email link down below and we can arrange for uh, a shipment and uh, for an agreement on how long for the loan. And if you would like to provide um, a monetary gift, there's a link to do that also. Thank you for watching my videos and thank you for watching this video. This has been Dave with DBS Tech Talk. And I'll catch you in the next video.